This is how to create realistic lighting and depth of field in under five minutes. First thing that you want to do is go ahead and delete the empty. Then normally I go ahead and vertically split the screen so that I can have a rendered view up on the left side. Then you want to go ahead and create a camera and then place it where you want it to be. This is where my camera is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and move some of these pieces so they look a little bit more realistic and delete some of the ones that I don't need. I realize that there's a small gap so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the cave and put it on the right side so it fills that gap. Now since we're in a cave we're probably going to need some either smoke or like murkiness in the air because it's not going to be completely clear. So in order to do that we're going to go ahead and add a cube. Go ahead and scale the cube up big enough that it'll cover the entire set. Once your cube is big enough, go ahead and go into the shader editor and replace the principal BSDF with a principled volume shader. Now we're going to go ahead and lower the density to 0.0001. And we're going to take the something what that word with a i'm not even going to try and pronounce it we're going to make that 0.7 once we have that done you're going to go ahead and hold shift s and then cursor to active so that when we go ahead and place this light it's going to be in the direct center of the brick now go ahead and adjust the wattage on it to make it bright. Now I noticed that there's not a lot of light going onto his face, which realistically there should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an area light and put that on his face. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the same color from the original light onto this area light. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and start your first render. Now I can see that the cube isn't dense enough, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit denser by making it just 0 0.001. Then go ahead and change your lights accordingly. Now that we've got our final render done, we're gonna go ahead and go over to Nuke. Now that we're in Nuke, all I'm doing is I'm using Ctrain's basic Nuke setup, and you can go ahead and change the things that I have changed as well as follow along. Now with depth of field, I know that I don't want the character right in front of the camera to be in focus. I want the focus to be on the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change where the depth of field is and that's gonna blur out the character right in front of the camera and all the stuff behind the light. Once we have all of that done, we can go ahead and render it out. And there you go, you have a completely rendered scene with realistic lighting and really good depth of field.